one of the muscle of abdomen is enclosed within the rectus sheath which muscle is that rectus abdominis rectus abdominis so rectus abdominis is having special covering called as rectus sheath this is rectus sheath okay this is rectus sheath now rectus sheath is having two walls or two laminas anterior and posterior so here we have taken cut on anterior lamina of rectus sheath in this way on both sides the we have taken incision on anterior lamina of rectus sheath and now whole rectus abdominis muscle is visible so now we are going to remove this muscle from its insertion now we will reflect the rectus abdominis muscle from both sides toward the pubic symphysis means at its origin part okay then now this is anterior wall of rectus sheath here is posterior wall of rectus sheath here is posterior wall of rectus sheath anterior wall was located anterior to rectus abdominis anterior wall of rectus sheath was located anterior to rectus abdominis muscle and now this anterior wall of rectus sheath is formed by aponeurosis of this external oblique muscle and internal oblique muscle anterior lamina of aponeurosis of this internal oblique muscle so both these muscles combine togetherly form anterior wall of rectus sheath at the level of zippered process this aponeurosis is only formed by aponeurosis of external wall at the level of zippered process the anterior wall of rectus sheath is formed by aponeurosis of external oblique muscle only and this is the midpoint of umbilicus and pubic symphysis so at the midpoint below that midpoint the anterior wall of rectus sheath is formed by aponeurosis of external oblique internal oblique and transversus abdominis okay means all three laminates come on the anterior side to form anterior wall of rectus sheath then now we will study posterior wall of rectus sheath this is posterior wall of rectus sheath and as we can see here there are certain vessels here on upper side there are superior epigastric vessels superior epigastric vessels and the branches of anterior abdominal branches of anterior rami nerves there are whitish threads which are nerves branches of anterior rami for abdomen and branches of superior epigastric artery okay then next from inferior side on this rectus abdominis muscle the vessels are visible which are inferior epigastric arteries inferior epigastric arteries so superior there is a anastomosis of superior and inferior epigastric arteries behind this rectus abdominis muscle now formation of posterior wall of rectus sheath here this posterior wall is formed by posterior lamina of internal oblique aponeurosis means which muscle this muscle this is internal oblique muscle so posterior lamina of internal oblique and aponeurosis of transversus abdominis by two aponeurosis this posterior lamina is formed but this lamina is incomplete it is not from zippered to pubic symphysis it is incomplete anterior lamina is complete but posterior lamina is incomplete posterior wall of rectus sheath is incomplete and it ends at the arcuate line arcuate 
line this is arcuate line of left side posterior wall of rectus sheath okay and this is right sided arcuate line okay this arc like part is inferior border of posterior wall of rectus sheath so posterior wall of rectus sheath is continue up to this level then it is incomplete directly extra peritoneal tissue is visible here understood yes. ha so posterior wall of rectus sheath is formed by two aponeuroi which internal posterior lamina of internal wall and aponeurosis of transversus abdominis very good so internal oblique muscle takes part in both walls anterior wall of rectus sheath as well as posterior wall of rectus sheath it gets divided its aponeurosis is gets divided into two parts okay this form anterior lamina with the help of external oblique so anterior lamina of inter, suppose this is internal oblique muscle and this is anterior lamina of internal oblique and it forms anterior wall of rectus sheath with the help of external, external oblique aponeurosis then this is posterior, posterior lamina of internal oblique and it forms posterior, posterior wall of rectus sheath means this wall with the help of aponeurosis of transversus abdominis so the arrangement is like that this is external oblique this is internal oblique these are aponeurosis these fingers are aponeurosis and this is transversus abdominis again this is aponeurosis mm -hmm. and in midway there is a rectus abdominis understood finish